All right, just a quick update before we get started with all this other stuff. So far, I've uh, pulled all of that old uh, wallpaper out. It was pretty cool because I found some newspaper that was layered in between the 17 layers of wallpaper, and that was around 1952. Um, but that's what we have so far. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover that with plastic, and then I bought like 60 pieces of um, OSB and I'm going to cover it up with that and then we'll frame in over top of that. So we got that clean, we got the floor pretty clean and then we'll cover that with uh, that OSB as well. And then by the time this is done the only thing we're going to need to fix is the uh, jacked up ceiling and then we'll just put a coat of paint on that or fill it in with some other type of OSB. So we'll get this window done in a little bit. We'll get this wall covered and then I've already came all the way through to this wall. So we got to pull that window out and I got to keep going. We'll knock that wall down and um, get the frame started. So hopefully I'll be able to get this all done in one night. It's probably not going to happen but I'm going to do my best to do it because I need to get these holes filled in. As you can see back there above that window um, see all that light coming in? That's where the rats are coming in. And uh, if I can get that covered up, um, I can get this place sealed up. That way, next time I come, I, next time I come down here, I'm not cleaning up after them. Um, and then the light in the corner over there. So, update number one. There it is. That's what it looks like now. Okay, so what you're looking at now is pure awesomeness. We're going to start laying the floor first, and then we've got plastic black vapor barrier in between the outside boards and the OSB that we're going to put along the outside there. So I'm getting that all stapled up pretty good, and then uh, I'll come back in a little while once we get all the way through. we got to pull that window frame out still and still pull down some more uh, this beautiful uh, wallpaper. But there we go. We're getting there. It's not. It's a lot of work, but we're we're getting there. Okay, I'll be back after a bit with a, another update. Okay, so we're just gonna do a quick update before we go to bed. I have got the me and Dad has got this plastic all the way around on the inside, and we've got this floor laid down all the way up into this point where that wall comes in here. So that's the corner of the wall, it comes in here, there's the door, we have all that plastic sheeting in, the flooring put in, all the way down this direction, and here. So Papa went through and found out that when this cabin was originally built, they put the joists coming, the floor joists coming through every two feet. So we got these OSB boards, a 4 by 8 so when you're looking at there, you can see that each seam runs right on one of the floor joists underneath that already tongue and grooved, uh, already under that tongue and grooved flooring that was underneath here. And I decided against sanding that down and redoing it, like I said before, because uh, it's just a lot more work, uh, a lot more expense, and just underneath that was, you know, dirt. So I'm gonna put this down and then put some uh, some flooring in underneath this, or some flooring on top of this. And so that's it. So next, we're gonna take down this partition here, open it up all the way into there, and uh, we'll fill in the rest of the plastic all the way around, and then tomorrow. We'll get a window put in there. Right now, if I, I don't, it's probably too dark to see. I'm not going to go outside. Um, there's a window right there underneath that plastic. There's a window under here. We're just going to board that up for now until we can get another window. There's a window on the outside over there. We have a window to fill in that one, so we'll redo that one before we leave here. And that window over there, you can see it from here. So. So that's it. So that's a lot of work we've com accomplished here in the last uh, four hours or so. And then uh, hopefully tomorrow we'll be able to get this all, um, all well, at least all the OSB in. And then uh, hopefully we can get it studded up and uh, 
those windows put in and uh, hopefully we can have a place that's uh, mouse rat free. It'll be good. All right. We'll do another update tomorrow. All right, time for a quick update. I got a lot of work done, so check this out. All right, so as we finished last night, let's get some light. Back into that section, completed. Um, I got that window cut through. This is where that partition was, and now it's no longer a partition. As you see, it's all opened up now. Got all these windows frames taken out, all this paper taken off the wall. And we're about to paper, uh, I'm sorry, we're about to put plastic over that once we finish this last um, door frame here and then finish that window frame there. I got a little bit of paper left to take down, um, but well, let me get some better lighting. There we go. So once we get that door finished, um, we'll get the plywood sheeting put down on the floor and uh, that'll be the day. Once we finish that, it's uh, pretty much home free. We're going to finish up the walls and then uh, do a little framing. So uh, here we go. All right, so this is pretty exciting. We just finished the floor and we got all the plastic put up along. So next we're going to nail the floor down and then we're going to start putting the plywood on the side walls. But this thing is coming along really nice. If you saw my earlier video, you probably saw how uh, dirty and nasty and how much garbage was in here. But check it out now. Take this. Take a look. That's what it looks like now. That's before was what that kitchen area was. It was all covered in crap. There used to be the sink over there uh, next to that, underneath that window. Got the plywood put all down on the floors here. Um, plastic covering the entire. Let me get some light for you. And that's what we're looking at. New floors. And next. And next we have the um, the walls to put in. So we'll put those up and then get the 2x4s. At least put the base around the edge of the wall for 2x4 for so we can start framing it in. And then um, and that's it for today. So, alright, thank you. Alright, so we got pretty far before we had to start packing up. We got to leave in the morning. Gramps got a doctor's appointment down in Cleveland. So... We're gonna get this packed up, but here's what we got done so far. The floor is all done and nailed in, and we have the side walls done all the way up to here, which is about halfway through. We'll have to nail up boards on these windows so we don't get birds, rats, ghosts, or whatever else uh, decides they wanna take the time to come and build a house in our house that we're building. This has been like 70 years worth of settling, and uh, the boards are not quite easy to get even. The floor when we did it wasn't even so these boards down here, those, those, those little gaps like that, those are going to be covered with 2x4s anyways because we're going to frame in the inside but boy I'll tell you it was a lot of cutting to get some of these to fit correctly. We get it in and we find out that it's a quarter inch shorter on one side than it is the other and uh, no matter how many times you measure from the inside going out it's just been um, it's been a pain. So there you have it. Stand by. I'm gonna have a couple more videos here in the next couple of weeks. We're gonna come back down and uh, hopefully get this finished to where we can start uh, insulating and um, drywall if we can get that stuff put in here. All right. Thanks for watching. If you get a chance, give me a, a like or. A subscribe and leave me a comment down below let me know how I'm doing all right have a good day